Hey to all of you. Please return to our most recent video. We have a big and complex subject to cover today, the possibility of more stimulus. We're discussing this topic because more and more lawmakers and organizations are putting pressure on us to provide the American people with greater financial relief. It's evident that we have a wide range of challenging challenges to deal with, and throughout this video, I'll be breaking some of these down. However, the ambiguity surrounding stimulus is what makes the current conversation about it so important. Several elements are at play and we are still in the early phases of consideration. The upcoming presidential election, which is just a year away, is one of the most important. We don't yet know who the ultimate contestants will be. They might be completely different people, or it might pit President Biden against former President Donald Trump. Promises made in the run-up to this election will undoubtedly have a significant influence on the result. There's a lot riding on these promises because they also affect the balance of power in the Senate and the House of Representatives. The crucial question at hand is whether the American people will be forgotten in the election's lead-up. I'll explain why I think it's a very real possibility. Since the U.S. economy is dealing with a number of issues, several legislators are calling for more stimulus. Consider the alarming increase in auto loan default rates. At an all-time high, 6.1% of loans were 60 days or more past due in September. The previous two periods where it was this terrible were 1994, 6%, and 2008, 5%. In addition, the typical monthly car payment is approximately $740, and analysts believe that these rates of delinquency will only get worse. However, the issue extends beyond auto loans. Repayment of student loans began in October, with an average monthly payment of almost $400. When you take into account these two major financial obligations, auto loans and student loan debt, you could be looking at a monthly total of more than $1,100. It's simple to claim that you wouldn't have purchased a car with a $700-$800 monthly payment if you had known that you would soon have a $400 payment. The truth is more nuanced, though as a result of the production shortages that caused car costs to soar in 2021 and 2022, leaving many people with monthly auto payments that exceeded $1,000. This is the point at which the request for more stimulation becomes relevant. A large number of people are struggling with shorter work weeks, lower pay, and rising costs. With 3.7% inflation, people's finances are become more constrained, which begs the question, will there be another stimulus check? Yes, is the response. Legislators have been adamantly supporting it, and there are still about $400 billion in relief funds that need to be redistributed from earlier agreements. However, things are not at all simple. President Biden is requesting $105 billion for a number of foreign initiatives, such as providing help to Taiwan, Israel, Ukraine, and other countries, as well as for border security and disaster relief. There is opposition to this idea since it seems incomplete and brings together several unrelated topics. The lack of a Speaker of the House at the moment further complicates matters. The situation is getting more and more unstable as November 17th, the deadline for government funding, draws near. A government shutdown might have disastrous effects, especially in light of current and upcoming global wars and military deployments. Therefore, although more stimulation is possible, it is by no means assured. This may not be good news for any stimulus efforts, as the Federal Reserve appears willing to tolerate some economic suffering in order to control inflation. In conclusion, there is a great deal of ambiguity about stimulus. There's no doubt that negotiations will continue and promises will be made, but it's still unclear when, how, and what these steps would entail. Bills to increase some revenue streams might be passed by lawmakers, but it might take until 2025 or perhaps 2026 for these changes to take effect. As usual, check back for updates, and if you thought this material was helpful, consider liking and subscribing to the video in order to receive future updates. We appreciate you coming here today.